All right, now, I have something sexy to whip on you today. Marv P. up in Seattle, he came all the way down. He walked all the way to Portland. Oh, man, that's a three-hour drive. I don't know how long he was walking. But anyway, he got here, and he showed me a challenge that was on one of the forums. One solution used an array formula. Another solution used some M code list table trickery. But my solution has a little sexy twist to it. So get the kids out of the room. I will warn you when the sexy part is coming. And here is my interpretation of the challenge. We have these students, Amy through Juan Carlos, and the courses that they've taken. Latika has taken menu planning and nutrition. We would like to be able to look at, say, nutrition and see who took it. This is the result we'd like to see. Now it's easy to see the five people who took handling picky eaters. What do we see here as steps in our solution? I see an unpivot, pivot don't aggregate, merge columns. Hey, there'll be some other steps in there, but those are what we're going to need. So let's get started. Select a cell in the data range. Data from table slash range. The data set does not have headers. Okay. First step, with that highlighted, right click, unpivot other columns. We don't need this attribute column. Highlight that, remove it. Let's call this students. Okay, here comes the sexy part. In order to pivot this and don't aggregate, we need some headers. I'm just gonna duplicate a column. This is the students, that's the one I need. Duplicate it. Check that out. Now we can pivot, don't aggregate. With the column highlighted, transform, pivot column. What do we want as values? We want students. Advanced options, don't aggregate. Okay, mm, mm. check that out. We'll make this a little smaller. And let's notice that we do have an error right here with Cynthia, but I knew about that and I'm gonna fix that for you. Let's click too many elements in the enumeration. Okay, we're gonna fix that later, but let's keep moving forward. One thing I wanna do is sort the students so that they're in order. All right, so I'm gonna go back. Rename columns. Duplicated columns. This is the one that I wanna sort. Home, sort. Insert step, yes. Pivoted. Now it goes Amy through William. Good. Let's select Amy. Scroll over. Hold down the shift key. Highlight William. Add column. Merge columns. Separator. Comma space. OK. Check it out. I'm going to double click up here. Spread it out a little further. Excellent. And we still see that error. So now. I'm going to highlight value, go over, hold down the control key, merged, right click, remove other columns. Let's close and load. File, close and load. There's our data, but notice nutrition has nothing in it. Now, here is what the problem is. Let's go to back to sheet one and our source data. Cynthia is showing as having taken nutrition twice. No, no. We got to clear that out. Delete. Go to our main data. Go here. Data. Refresh. There was, and it was sexy. Easy. 
highlighting one column so that it can be headers to set us up for an unpivot. Don't aggregate. Got it. Thanks to Marv P for bringing this challenge, and I'll see you in the next video.